Dear friends, here we are going to discuss about the basic concepts regarding some organelles of cells. Okay, this is the plastids. Plastids are the subcellular organelle. Subcellular organelle. It has specialized function in plant cell including photosynthesis production and storage of metabolites storage of metabolites you know it is described by primshim and sac as colored bodies in the cytoplasm okay so this primshim and sac described plastids as colored bodies in the cytoplasm then who named plastic named by Haeckel in in eighteen sixty six. Okay, this plastic is a subcellular organelle specialized function in plant cells, photosynthesis, production and storage of metabolites, described by Primshim and Sack, named by Hackel. Then, Schimber, Schimber classified plastics into three types. Okay, like the first one is chloroplast for green colored plastids, chromoplast for color other than green leucoplast for colorless plastids this green plastids that means chloroplast is discovered by discovered by Mayer in 1883 he called it as autoplast however who gave this name chloroplast Later, Herrera gave name chloroplast. So, this 
Schimber. Schimber classified this plastids into three types. The first one is chloroplast. It is actually discovered by Mayer in 1883. He called this plastid as autoplast. Later, Herrera gave the name chloroplast. Okay, chloroplast is the green colored plastids, whereas chromoplast is for the color other than green. Okay, plastids with color other than green and leucoplast for colorless plastids. You can see this figure. This is the proplastid where this from where these plastids are originated. Then etioplast from that chloroplast formed. Okay. okay. This etioplast then from this proplast proplastids chromoplast chloroplast and leucoplast formed. From this leucoplast, amyloplast, elioplast and proteinoplast were formed. And this is the enlarged picture of chloroplast. You can see the outer membrane. After that, the inner membrane. This is the structure of this cone-like structure that is thylakoids. This fluid part is called stroma and this single, this is single structure is called granum. This is the lumen of this granum. So from this picture you can find the types of plastids the mainly three types, chromoplast, chloroplast and leucoplast. Chromoplast is color other than green. Chloroplast is green plastic. Leucoplast is colorless plastids. From leucoplast, amyloplast, elioplast and proteinoplast were formed. Now you can move to the basic concept of mitochondria. Mitochondria is first observed by Kulliker in 1890. He observed small thread-like structure in the cytoplasm. Small thread-like structure in the cytoplasm where in the cytoplasm of striated muscle cells of insect in striated muscle cells of insects Okay, this was called okay, this uh, small thread like okay, this small thread like structure in the cytoplasm were called called phila by Fleming. in 1882 it is described by alt man in 1890 described as bioplast name coined by Benda in 1897 
के माइट्रोकॉन्ट्रिया सो द मेन पॉइंट्स आर द माइट्रोकॉन्ट्रिया इज ऑब्सर्व बाय कोलिकर इन 1890 दिस सो स्मॉल थ्रेड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इन द साइटोप्लाज्म एंड दिस माइट्रोकॉन्ट्रिया इज कॉल्ड फिला by fleming f f okay phila by fleming which is described by altman as bioplast a name this name mitochondria was coined by benda okay this is what all about this is all about mitochondria basic concept of mitochondria this is the structure of mitochondria this outer membrane and here this is the inner membrane and this portion this inner portion is called cristae inner to cristae that is matrix in the matrix you can see matrix granule this white colored structure and this ribosome and the mitochondrial dna so basically there is an outer membrane inner membrane and there's a cristae this structure and within the cristae there you can see in the matrix matrix granule ribosome and mitochondrial dna what about centrosome actually who used the word centrosome the word you centrosome is used by bovary in 1888 for a body found at one pole of the cell a body found at one pole of the cell near the nucleus in animal cells so this centrosome found near the nucleus in animal cells most of the plant cells were found to be lacking it but this found in found in animal cell plant cell lacking it this is the anaphase of the cell you can see here this is the centrosome here is the an enlarged picture of centrosome you can see within the centrosome there are two centrioles actually centrosome have seen cell division then about golgi apparatus this golgi apparatus discovered by an italian scientist called camillo golgi actually this organelle named after his name in 1898 where in the cytoplasm of nerve cells of all in the cytoplasm of nerve cells of all he found a complex structure there in the cytoplasm of nerve cell he named it as internal reticular apparatus 
So this Golgi apparatus was discovered by Camilla Golgi in 1889, the Saita person of no sense of all. He called it as internal reticular apparatus. We actually discussed only about the basic concept regarding uh, some cell organelles. Okay, so we will discuss each cell organelles and the mechanism in detail in upcoming videos. So thank you.